Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. I want to start off by saying that this is another book in my collection. It's Animal Farm by George Orwell. And I think it will do you guys well to have this book in your collection. It's a book that I had to read actually in my own old country. All junior high school students have to read this book. And at that time when I read the book, it did not really sink in. To understand that the ruling class has different rules to us. And that someone that is oppressed at one point can also become the oppressor. So when you read books like this, it helps to give you a sense of how the game is played and why when the establishment is telling you that you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that, it's not good for you. Sometimes you have to use something that's called critical thinking, something that is incredibly lacking in today's society. 1% of the population uses critical thinking and that's the people who have the wealth. Most of the time when you look at some of the trolls that come on the channel, you can see that they have no such thing as critical thinking. When they say stuff like, oh, I will never buy stocks in a Chinese company, you won't. But the establishment is BlackRock, ex, ex, Bridgewater Associates, Vanguard, etc., etc., is buying. So I have to be very careful on my channel because uh, YouTube warned me today because what happens is the trolls come at me, nasty, vicious, but when I attack back, when I come out to play and the lion shakes his mane, they didn't like it. One of them said um, something really nasty to me and I said, uh, this was in a couple of videos back, I said, um, since I am of Asian descent, which I am, I gave him a nice Chinese name. I said, I'm going to give you a nice Asian name, not Chinese name, Asian name. I said, it's going to be Wandam Fok Chop Sui. But he reported me and YouTube didn't like that, so I can't call anyone that again. So, Neo was last trading at $8.49. It was down 65 cent. The 52 week low was $7 and the 52 week high was $16.18. As a disclaimer, I hold 2,260 shares at $3.53. And on the SoFi platform, I hold 478 shares at $8.71. I'm going to do something very fun right now, but very informative to show you again why we're holding this company and why we're gonna make significant money. Remember I told you guys about um, a geopolitical analyst, his name is Scott Ritter, very intelligent man, he was a weapons um, inspector for the UN at one point, and he said something about battery swapping and China and stuff like that. Take a look and then we'll discuss that with some other stuff guys. In the West, we talk about, oh my God, the expense of replacing batteries. In China, they're saying, what are you talking about? We, ch we swap them out like, like a gas station. Alternative energy is such a threat because the security paradigm of alternative energy, of green energy, is fundamentally different than the security paradigm of fossil fuels. And nobody wants to give up their hold on power. Uh, this is, and we're getting ahead of ourselves here, but I'll just say this. The Chinese are probably the only nation in the world that has a viable path to zero carbon or low carbon emissions. Why? Because China can do whatever the hell that China wants to do. Look what they're doing with electric vehicles. It's a paradigm shift. I mean, it is fundamentally different than anything we're doing here in the West. In the West, we talk about, oh, my God, the expense of replacing batteries. In China, they're saying, what are you talking about? We, ch we swap them out like, like a gas station. All we do is we, we drive into a battery changing facility, they drop out the, the uncharged battery, they bring in the charged battery, and you drive away. The convenience of it. Everything is convenient, Chad. They're making this alternative energy convenient, and they're doing it on a massive scale. They're coming up with hydrogen fuels technologies that on a massive scale. Nobody else is doing it. Why? Because of the power and the control of the fossil fuel energies on everything we do. They control... 
I probably get fired from my other job for saying this, but this whole COP thing, conference they had in Dubai, okay, it, it's, it's a joke. The conference was made so that the energy companies can guarantee there will never be a viable clean energy policy that fossil fuels will be relevant forever because that's how you control the world. You can't, the existing power elites cannot control the world with green energy. They can only control the world with fossil fuels. And so they will make fossil fuels as relevant as possible. But in order to do that, they've hijacked the green, uh, you know, clean energy um, forum. And then they destroyed it. It was a joke. Okay. Welcome back, guys. Now leave in the comment, what did you all think? Are we going to be the people that use critical thinking? Or we are going to be like the animals on the farm. You decide. He put it basically in a nutshell as to why China is going to lead in the EV industry. Why Neo is going to lead. <laughs> Remember also, um, I forgot the name of the guy right now. Neil, uh, Neil Tyson the grass. When he spoke about having battery swap stations and have the batteries even stored underground, like how we have the gas stored underground, etc., etc. Anyway, guys, I hope you all, this gives you guys even further conviction as to why and how it's inevitable that we're going to dominate the landscape. And I want to give a shout out to some of my subscribers. And like I said, guys, forgive me. I am old, so a lot of you put incredible comments and then whenever I remember to screenshot it, I give a shout out. And I wanna give a shout out to this one guy, his, his screen name is M-I-R-O-R-A-S-H-E-V-9331. So basically what he said was, the most important thing regarding sales and the trend Looking at the second half of 2023, the trend is clearly upwards. And he knows why. <laughs> he knows why. With the partnerships that are going to be announced soon, with the sub-brands that we're going to be releasing, just to name a few things. Another one of my subscribers G O H M E N G T O N G, Go Mentong. He said China will continue to better their economy quality with less dependence on prop on property and more on technology. Listen very carefully. Advancement products and services. EV is one of the target industries. Neo is positioned to play a vital role too. So remember what we talked about with the sanctions and it caused the Chinese companies like NIO to come out with their own in-house things so they are less dependent. Another reason why we're going to dominate. And another one of my, well, the same subscriber, um, sorry guys, the same subscriber whose channel is M-I-R-O-R, Mirror Ashev 9331. This guy, is I can tell does his research. He's a genius. I told him, I said, you're a genius, man. Because everything that I wanted to say, he basically put it in a nutshell and he said this, the most important thing regarding sales is the trend. Looking at the second half of 2023, the trend is clearly upwards. All things equal without the sub-brand. This is even without the sub-brand we've been growing. In 2024, Neo should reach at least 200,000 annual deliveries. And I agree. The sub-brand is going to skyrocket us. With the sub-brand, there's an upside. Your point about the sub-brands, he means me being even cheaper without the battery and with the tax incentive. He said, I haven't thought about that previously. And he told me, great point. Another important factor is loss per vehicle. I was surprised to see that in third quarter 2023, the loss per, ve per vehicle was 35,000 USD. It is almost the same as Rivian's loss per vehicle for the same quarter, which is 33,000 USD. There are two interesting differences apart from swap stations and number of charging stations. Between Rivian and Neo, Rivian annual deliveries are about 50,000. 
The other difference is Rivian current stock price is $23.46. Explain that to me, guys. There are two conclusions I can make. The first one is that NEO stock price is undervalued, and the second one is that Rivian would need less deliveries per year than NEO to reach profitability. I beg that I think it's the first, right? Not the latter. Rivian CEO mentioned in a podcast that as the company become well known and it it has the ability to negotiate better prices with suppliers. I suppose this is true for NEO as well, but that is the reason why NEO started producing their own chips and invested capital in supplies, suppliers of LiDAR and suspension. So Rivian is depending on their suppliers selling themselves cheaper. We're making a lot of our own in-house things. So, (laughs) what do you guys think is going to happen? Also, another one of my subscribers, Illumi Brian, he says, currently Neo holds the distinction of being the sole EV company, the sole EV company prepared for 24-7 unattended autonomous robo-taxis. Remember I told you guys that we're leading the way? So, another point of one of my subscribers, no one talks about how safe battery swapping is for young ladies. So, a lot of times, when you have to get out the car and charge, is that creating a risk, guys, for the ladies? Or them coming out in the snow, or in the hot? You know, the ladies, they want to stay nice and pretty, they they don't want to sweat. So they want to stay in the the EV. All these are incredible points to touch on. Another one of my subscribers, I had to screenshot it. Johnny Lewis 1585. Shout out to you guy. Hello everyone. Happy New Year 2024. I'm here again to let you know even people without brains will know this technology. Many people think that replacing the battery is useless. This is wrong. Why is this so? Here are the highlights of the battery swap station. If the battery is aging, you can replace it with a new one. People living in apartments have no place to charge their batteries. Remember we talked about that, guys? 50% of people living in cities in China have no place to charge. That's why they don't have EVs. I don't want my hands and feet to be dirty when I get out of the car. He's talking about the ladies, just like the rainy season and the snow, etc., etc., Suitable for beauties who drive electric cars, he told my ladies, and the charging cable is too heavy or makes their hand and feet dirty. People who drive long distances can choose to replace or upgrade the battery. Oh my God. People who are in a hurry don't have time to wait for recharge. This time is money, like the CEOs. People who are in a hurry, the benefits of battery swapping technology are so numerous that many companies are considering partnering with Neo and they are doing it now. They realize they missed the boat. People who want to upgrade their car batteries to higher wattage, they can do that with NEO. The benefits of an electric car with swappable batteries, upgradable, and are endless, aren't they? Very good point, my friend Johnny Lewis. Another one of my subscribers, Lewis Lomatra. Neo has put so much into charging from swap and charging piles while Lee Auto was capitalizing on cars. Neo had stock slops for three years. However, at 2024, Neo has the best locations, and this was huge cost to Neo and shareholders. I just saw Neo raise charging prices for non Neo cars up to 400%, and it was coming. In 2024, Neo and us shareholders now need to capitalize on the infrastructure. And at the rate we're installing our moat, this will soon be a massive amount of revenue. Remember, I keep talking about that, guys. Revenue is going to come from many different areas. We will dominate the China EV industry. I love he's using my word, dominate. Dominate the landscape starting in 2024. Now it's time to benefit on what we sacrificed for. And these people who bought Lee Autos need to be penalized and pay us or simply go buy gasoline. Soon we will be the Amazon of charging in China. I love that. And this is a nice little quote, one of my subscribers, uh, CAP Capisora 7913. One stock 
will, fly, will Firefly to the Alps come 2024? Be a smart long-term investor. Advance. Congrats to the true long holders. I love how we put that. One stock will Firefly to the Alps. So I hope you guys found this video to be inspirational. It wasn't so much in informational, but I, I hope you guys appreciate what Scott Ritter was saying. An intelligent man like this, like Neil Tyson deGrasse, what he said. And it gives you the conviction. I know most of my subscribers, um, you guys already know this. You, yesterday when the trolls and negative Nancy's saw the price pull back because of um, what I spoke about explaining why pull back, they don't, they don't mention that, you know. <laughs> they came out to try to spread fear. But lions do not fear hyenas. I will try my best, I promise you guys, to be a little more gentlemanlike when it comes to the trolls and negative Nancy's when they put their comments in my station. Who am I kidding? I can't. I can't. I'm going to go after them. I'm going to go after their throat like a lion, dragging them out into the bushes and devour them. But <laughs> I hope you guys found this video inspirational. If it did for you guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and share this on your social media. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset where we get rich or we die trying, guys.